I'll keep it real that one time my girl got a DM from Trey Songs right. and she said some shit like, because she's like, what should I say? I was like, tell that motherfucker to do a No Jumper podcast. And yeah. she said it. And then he goes, wait, who is this? Like yeah. acted like he was hitting on the wrong girl. I'm like, bro, this dude probably does this like all the time. Like, oh, she got a boyfriend? Fuck, I'm going to just say this. Yeah. Welcome to the Only Male Cruise Show, the podcast. I am the Only Male Cruise. Be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment. You know I want to hear from you. Copyright disclaimer regarding fair use is in full effect. The views and opinions expressed in this show, you guessed it, they're all mine. Let's go to work. But I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you though, like a real life situation. Like probably like three years ago, Trey done had one of my girls. Had her or yeah. posted her? Uh, he had her. He, he While you were with her? Yo, he done snatched her, man. Really? But it went, you know, it went no thing until a player. I'm like, you know, to each his own. But then she reported back to you and nah, said. Nah, she told me. She told I sent the DM. I said, damn, bro. That's why I ain't got nothing against him though. You know what I'm saying? I said, keep it playing. But was that kind of intimidating? Like, damn, this dude is, like, famous for, for serving dick. Maybe I'm not serving nothing. dick I like he's serving dick. I can't do nothing. It, yeah. was, it was just like, damn, let's try something, man. Right. Might hit one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you hold that tray. <laughs> I'm going to let you hold it, though. Welcome to the Only Male Crew Show podcast, the only place to have real conversations. I am the Only Male Cruise. As everyone knows by now, Trey Songs is in some hot water. What a way to end a year and start a year with new and renewed allegations of sexual assault. Be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Shout out to the new subscribers. Thanks so much for your support. Shout out to my day ones. As well, much appreciation to you. Uh, let's do a quick rundown of what Trey Song has on his plate. These allegations should be enough to ruin him. How will he overcome what clearly appears to be a pattern of behavior? Now, on November 28th, an unidentified woman filed a police report in Las Vegas, alleging that Trey Songs, who was in town to celebrate his birthday weekend and perform at Drea's nightclub, sexually assaulted her at the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino. The case is currently under investigation, and it has not been confirmed whether or not it is the anonymous woman, Dylan Gonzalez. However, the wee hours of the morning of December 30th, 2020, former University of Las Vegas women's basketball player Dylan Gonzalez put Trey Songs on full blast in a straightforward tweet calling him a rapist. It's apparent that the young athlete could no longer keep this information to herself. Dylan and her twin sister both graduated from UNLV with degrees in sociology. They both have released music that you can find on Spotify and I will presume other streaming platforms as well. In 2014, another singer accused Trey Songs of being aggressive with her, B.B. Rexa. Now, she alleged that uh, she'd seen Trey Songs at a wedding, and although he had a date, she noticed him watching her throughout the day. Later, Rexa said that Trey Songs pushed her up against a wall, tried to kiss her, saying, Let's do this. Madame Noir reported on December 22nd that a woman named Jahara Jeffers filed a $20 million lawsuit against Trey Songs. Now, court documents in the case state that Jeffers was sexually assaulted by Trey Songs while attending a New Year's Eve party at uh, Sean Diddy Combs' crib in Miami. Now, it was also um, reported that Trey Songs sexually assaulted uh, two women in total on January 1st, 2018. Uh, the woman who spoke out had chosen to remain anonymous during the 2020 trial. One of the women said that she met Trey Songs at a New Year's party thrown by Diddy and that Trey Songs left to go to a club. And there she claims that Trey Songs sexually assaulted her at a VIP table by forcibly thrusting his hand up her dress and into some things. Now, that same woman claims that Trey Songs assaulted a second woman at the club the same night, who apparently told the first woman that he had forcibly gotten to some things without her consent. Trey Songs is now being sued for alleged assault, battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The case was dismissed due to a technicality 
which resulted in the woman refiling the case and instead now of asking for $10 million, she's now suing for $20 million. The technicality had something to do with the fact that initially she had filed as a Jane Doe and uh, she was under the impression that she could take this thing all the way to the end as Jane Doe. Uh, but apparently or allegedly Trey Song's attorney said, no, that's not right. The case was sent back down to the lower court and it was uh, determined that she could have ended this thing um, as a Jane Doe. Um, But when all that happened, she said, you know what, bump that. I'm about to come back on you. And now I don't want $10 million. I want $20 million. And I'm going to use my name. The name of that person is Jahara Jeffers. Now, this same woman who is now identified as Jahara Jeffers states that she and her friends left the club because apparently they were, she was at the the uh, residence of Diddy. Trey Songs was there and evidently Trey Songs overheard her saying to some other people, hey, let's go to the club. And apparently Trey Songs was ear hustling. He heard that and he decided he was going to go too. So that's how they wound up. So they all wound, got in the car and went to the club. Well, they, uh, she's claiming that Trey Songs, um, they got to the club, this assault happened, um, and she's saying that uh, she and her friends left the club and they got back into Trey Songs' vehicle. And according to the lawsuit, they claim that Trey Songs took off his shirt during the ride and that because Jahara was concerned or feared that more assault would occur uh, by Trey Songs, she began recording him for her own safety. So the suit says that Trey Songs tried to grab the phone from Jeffers and that when she would not turn it over, he instructed his driver to stop the vehicle in order to forcibly remove her from the vehicle. The driver grabbed the plaintiff, violently pulled her out of the vehicle, while Trey Songs pushed her and threw her onto the street. Now, this is according to the lawsuit. And for purposes of this video, everything is alleged. Selena Powell, as you guys are totally well aware of, um, offered her own account of Trey Song's actions uh, back in April 2019, noting that she went to the police, got a rape kit done, um, filed charges, but she later dropped the charges after she says Trey Song's told her that he would make her life uncomfortable, allegedly. Selena's pal friend, Eliza, also said that he got mad at her for talking about it, but that every female that she's spoken to about him says the same thing. Uh, saying that he's a psycho. Um, she said that he took her phone, her purse, and wouldn't give it to her, give it back to her for an entire day. That uh, he held it over the balcony and was like, Yeah, if you try to leave, I'll drop it. Allegedly. Now, Kiki Palmer, as you guys are well aware, um, I didn't even know that they were in a relationship, but uh, apparently or evidently, Kiki Palmer claimed that Trey Songs behaved sexually creepy. And intimidated her to the point where she had to run and hide. And I remember that report coming out that she ran, she hid in a closet, she called Uber, and she stayed in there until the Uber came up. And then, of course, Superhead uh, Corinne Steffens um, allegedly accuses Trey Songs of allegedly attempting to urinate on her. So are all these allegations true? Is Trey Songs the R. Kelly 2.0? And is there redemption for him and his career, whether these allegations are proven true or false? Should Trey Songs be canceled? So let me know your thoughts. Drop a a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. This is definitely something worth keeping an eye on. Kells has been canceled. Cosby has been canceled. Harvey Weinstein has been canceled. um, Or better yet, ruined. Is Trey Songs next? And all the women that have made accusations against Trey Songz clearly come from different backgrounds. So they can't be grouped as one certain type of female, which would seem to me that it will make it harder for Trey Songz to prove his innocence. And what does Trey Songz's baby mama or wife have to say about this? Because it's being said that Trey Songz is or was married to a lady by the name of Cara Colon. And that despite being married, Trey Songz has always kept his marital status hidden from the public. However, in 2020, Cologne's identity was revealed. um, And just a year after that, she gave birth to their baby boy, Noah. And it's alleged that the pair exchanged vows in 2018. 
after they'd been dating for, I guess, a very long time. However, up until then, their relationship was kept a secret, which made Cologne doubt that his honesty and faith towards their marriage actually existed. Um, Cologne, however, is um, a dancer, and she's also worked as a beauty model for many elite brands and clothing businesses. So is she going to stick beside him? That's my man. I'm going to stick beside him. Should she stick beside him? And the last question I have is for the Kevin Samuels crew. Is Trey Songz considered a high value man? If so, what I want to know is, where is the value? That's it. That's the podcast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. You know I want to hear from you. And so next time, we will see you when we see you. Welcome to the Only Male Cruise Show, the podcast. I am the Only Male Cruise. Be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment. You know I want to hear from you. Copyright disclaimer regarding fair use is in full effect. The views and opinions expressed in this show, you guessed it, they're all mine. Let's go to work. <laughs>